So the other day at the thrift store, I found these two tapestries. And considering they were only $10, I took them home with me. The scary part was though, I don't know anything about tapestries. So it's time for me to learn. What I found really interesting about this piece, aside from the purple that was more vibrant than anything else, were the silk-like threads that were reflective. And after tons of research, it says that the best way to be able to figure out more about the history of a tapestry is to look at the back. Both of these tapestries were stapled into this hardy board, but once I removed all of those, it was time to take a look. Now, I'm no expert, so I could really use your help identifying what method was used here. I looked around for any sort of tags or stamps and I couldn't find anything aside from this little what appears to be an auction sticker from a long time ago for about $22. What method do you think was used with this tapestry? Let me know in the comments below. So here's the second one. This tapestry is much longer, but it's also narrower, and it's done in a very different style than the last one. So I went ahead and did my best to gently remove all of the many, many, many staples. I'm just grateful that they were only stapled and not glued on. First thing I noticed with this one were so many loose threads on the edges, and they were really vibrant. I had to gently peel away the strings so I didn't snag anything and make a run. And here's the back of this one. The colors were so intense. They almost looked neon in comparison. What method do you think was used here? Be sure to post your ideas in the comments below. And if you want to learn about more vintage and antique pieces along with me, be sure to like and follow. I can't wait to learn more about these two pieces. Thanks for watching.